from one of America's greatest allies, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, from a member of Parliament who knows the experience of listing and also knows the experience of delisting. Let's hear it up for Brian Bidley. Ladies and gentlemen, time is very short and you're going to be marching through these very historic streets to make a point for the lady that spends her working time in that office. So I want to be very brief. And I now say thank you for my five minutes. It's a privilege to be with you. Can I also say what an honour it is? to speak on the same platform as the great men you've listened to this morning and the gentlemen you will listen to. Let me send my good wishes to our colleagues in Camp Ashraf. Salaam, Camp Ashraf. We are with you. Let me tell you that I re represent about 400 parliamentarians from what I consider to be the mother of Parliament, uh, the British Parliament. And can I say to you that they stand with you too. <laughs> you may know that I was one of the 35 parliamentarians who put his name, amongst others, to the petition to remove the PMOI from the British prescribed list. It was a battle that we succeeded and we succeeded, we succeeded because the judge, the senior judge, one of the senior judges in our land, said that that prescription was perverse. It was one of the most remarkable statements made in a British court to call a decision of government perverse. Now let me tell you, let me tell you, for a nation that I've always looked up to, the great United States of America to uphold a listing which my country, the legal jurisdiction of my country described as perverse, is unacceptable of this nation. <laughs> so let me say to Mrs. Clinton, and I pray to the Almighty that she listens to these words. My parents were around in 1939 when it became vital that we stood up against the Nazi attack on our society and yours. I was there when I saw the troops go to Iraq and I did not see those troops those military personnel give their lives in support of a government which supports Iran. But what I say to Mrs. Clinton is send a message to that government. Send a message to al-Maliki. We, in free and democratic societies, will not put up with what you're doing. Let her, as a first step, do you prescribe the M.E.K.? He is a decorated Colonel of the United States. And he was the one on the line in Camp Ashraf. If anybody could tell you what's going on there, let's hear it for Colonel Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank the opportunity to be here. I'll grab a quote from Edmund Burke. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. It is a pleasure this morning to be with you doing something to correct a serious wrong. <laughs>